Good evening, everyone. Welcome again to Monday Night Twitch. I am your host, The Wandering Tuke. With me, as always, is my co-host, The Big Foam Loaf. Oof. Good evening. This is going to be a crazy night. The background looks different. Why is that? It doesn't look like Middle Earth at all. <laughs> it's been a while, folks. Uh, but we have gotten back into our Arkham Horror campaign. Sorry it took so long. Many issues. Mostly Octagon not working. Um, but we have hopefully got things set up now. And we hope to make this a regular uh, occurrence in the future. Yeah. Now, it's been a while. So I should explain what we're doing here. What are we doing here? This is the... This appears to be Dim Carcosa, the very last... The very uh, last scenario. scenario of the Path to Carcosa campaign. And it's been a while for everyone, including us. So perhaps we need to delve back into our memory banks and see exactly what happened. What yeah, hopefully here. you've got a campaign log open to share th some things with us, Mike. I do. Oh, that's awesome. And I'll try to make sense of it because I don't actually remember all of it. So a long well, time I do ago... I know that these are not the characters we started with. They are not. We had Wendy Adams and Roland Banks. Yeah, that was like a year and a half ago. Yeah, some... <laughs> <laughs> they had right. witnessed some weird events at a theater, tried to warn the police, they got laughed at. Eventually they ran to a dinner party, fled, went to the bayou where Roland was one-shotted. I do remember that. Oh, that was a tough time. <laughs> yeah, we had Sean on and... Uh... Yeah, that was really rough. Uh, Carcosa is not the greatest campaign to go off on a side quest to the bayou. Those skull tokens hurt. Uh, and then we went to the insane asylum to find some clues, and we ended up getting uh, admitted. Yeah, we, we stayed around there. We did. Turns out. So, uh, <laughs> since then, Safina Rousseau and William York have picked up the investigation. Uh, they went to Paris, where they did not escape the gaze of the Phantom, and did very poorly. We then found ourselves awoken in the catacombs. We have no idea how we got there, but I remember running around, and we got through that scenario. We did. Not exactly sure what happened there. Uh, we discovered the site of the gate. That's what happened. We figured out where the gate to Carcosa was. And then in Black Star's Rise, we also did fairly well. We, we did. found the path, we opened it, we jumped inside before the world crashed and burned. We opened the path above. Now, in terms of progress for all these secondary counters, not a lot. We only have two doubt. We only have three conviction. And under Chasing the Stranger, we only have four tally marks. We okay. interviewed three vi VIPs. Do you remember how many VIPs we've killed? Zero is my guess. No, we have one. We have one. We did get rid of Ishimaru Haruko. Oh, okay. Oh. So, a couple setup things we have to deal with here. Uh, we have the encounter sets built up, I believe. Uh, we have three versions of Act 2. And since we have five or less total doubt and conviction, we're using version one. And we will see what that's all about later. Uh, we have <laughs> built the locations here in this lovely cross pattern. Since we have opened the path above, we each begin at the very top under dark spires. That's exciting. Okay, okay. under chasing the stranger, because there are only three to five tally marks underneath it, we add two doom to Agenda 1. Wow. We should have been more proactive. Well, now you know. Now we know. Okay. Each investigator takes direct horror equal to half of his or her sanity rounded down. Cannot be prevented. Well, that's rude. Quite. Uh, we cannot die from horror. Okay. 
That is a special rule in this scenario. You don't immediately go insane. Right, Stuff great. happens first. Okay, so things to know. The locations in Dim Carcosa are all revealed. I see that, yeah. So Min loves this. I mean, sit down there and, what's that one, decipher reality? Just gobble up clues. It's a great card. Uh, these are double-sided cards, but on the other side is story. And so that's partially going to be how we how we progress. Okay. Uh, we, whenever a location enters play, we put clues on the location equal to its clue value. And as soon as you reveal the last clue, you flip it over. Okay. In Including the, that we have four clues where we are, right? In, yep, that's right. Okay. In the twisted and madness-inducing realm of Carcosa, insanity is an inevitability. But even with your mind fractured and broken, your investigation does not end here. During this scenario, investigators are not defeated when they have horror on them equal to or greater than their sanity. When an investigator has more horror than their sanity, it is still considered to be zero. Okay. All right. You have, a, you have a story you want to read us? I do. It is a very small story, single paragraph. You land on a piece of black obsidian stone, winding up a dark spire. You cough blood and feel a searing pain in your gut, as though you'd broken a rib. Before you lies a warped alien city. Its twisting streets and aberrant architecture have no semblance of order or structure. In the distance, a murky lake reflects the glare of two suns. When you look up, the Abbey of Mont Saint-Michel peaks just below the clouds, flipped upside down. This is Carcosa, the realm of madness in the stars, where Hastur reigns supreme. And yes, we are allowed to say Haster because we sucked so badly, we did not get to that rule that uh, makes you take horror every time you say his name. Wow. Good for us. Yeah. Uh, let's clue up all the remaining locations. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, that's a little pattern, isn't it? Yeah. Oof, six in the middle, hey? <clears throat> it's a good thing we have an investigator on the team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how you feeling? You know what? Um, I'm feeling great. Let me read you a story. Awesome, please do. Agenda 1A, Madness Coils. And now... Far away, over leagues of tossing cloud waves, I saw the moon dripping with spray, and beyond, the towers of Carcosa rose behind the moon. Pasture cannot be defeated. If there is at least six damage on Haster advances agenda. Okay. Well, that's something. All right, Act 1. Uh, in Las Carcosa. You have opened the path to Carcosa in order to stop those who wish to free Haster from his prison in the star. Only you can put an end to this madness. When the investigators have collected the requisite number of clues, which is four in this case, we immediately spend them in advance. Dun, dun, dun. Immediately, hey? Immediately. It's a little foreboding. So, so here's a funny story for you, Mike. A confession, if you will. I've never played this. Really? No, I've been waiting to play it with you for this. Aw, <laughs> thanks, buddy. I appreciate yeah, it. But, you know, you, you could have played it. You could have done well. No, no. I played I this played one. I played any of the uh, new cycle of Lord of the Rings either for the very same oh, reason. Oh, wow. Wow. So, uh, my wife enjoys playing this game. It's one of the few I can play with her. That's awesome. So I've played this once in our Min and Mark campaign. All right. Nice. Uh, I have put a damage token on my mini investigator card to mark who I am. Well, I actually see you as you. Oh, really? And I see me as me. Okay, you have some images. I don't. Oh, I didn't do anything for it. Okay. Well, <laughs> just loaded octagon. <laughs> we'll go with it then. Um, all well, right. do you want to start by uh, reading our location? Sure. Dark Spires. It's another world location. Night fell and the hours dragged on, but still we murmured to each other the king in the pallet mask. 
and midnight sounded from the misty spires in the fog-wrapped city. Cool. All right. Okay. Well. I guess we go. Yeah, let's uh, see if you remember how to pilot these things. I have, I have some ideas. Awesome. All right. Uh, so I will play a yeah. painted world as a copy of Uncage the Soul. I will then play Right of Seeking for only $1. Three charges. I will then spend three for my favorite little spell knife. Whew. All right. Pretty good start. And then for my third act, I will I'll try to do it. I've got four, six against three. And I'll play Guts to make it up five. And it's Are you ready? Control S. Control S. Oh, all right. Hooray. OK, just so our oh. viewers know, uh, we have two tablets in this bag that shouldn't be there. We're so going if we draw, them, draw them, they will be gone. We have right. two Elder Things and two Cultists. That's what we've earned. So I've taken two clues off of. The well, it's a good spires. start. I like to think so. Yeah. What am I doing with only level one right of seeking and level one shriveling though? That's my real question. Uh, that is me done. So. <laughs> good question, hey. Okay, we have some options here. I think I'm going to start by playing. Prepared for the worst. <laughs> I think that's a pretty adequate time to do that indeed uh, and i whiffed are you for real i actually i whiffed oh wow Lord. how many weapons do i have in this deck i think i have four four or five you should not have whiffed yeah i should not have whiffed okay uh well the good news is that i get to shuffle that up so maybe that will appear Okay, so that was one. Um, I guess one, two, oops, let's not do that. We'll go one, two, three, four, for Quina. Always love to see her. Yeah. And how are we doing here? I'm not an investigative type. Do you want me to stick with you and protect you? You probably do, hey? Um, why do you think something bad is about to happen? <laughs> well, you, you, as you said, you have level one shriveling. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to gain a resource. I'm curious if I have better cards in here. I'm sure you do. That's interesting. I I don't. You got a couple sneak attacks. Got an elusive. Those are nice. Hey, yeah, all the locations like... are revealed. Elusive is going to be really nice. Yeah, right? Um, but yeah, I do not have any high-level spells. So I wonder why I chose that path. Well, we didn't have a whole lot of choice. We weren't really... Yeah, we didn't really, did we? We didn't have a whole lot of experience. Okay. All right. I think, well, what did you do for your third attack? I grabbed a resource. Okay. So then the monster phase, I was there or none. It is upkeep, where I believe we just do control N, right? You do it first. Yep. Okay. Control N. Hey, that's nice to have. Okay. Well, I guess bad things should happen, right? Yep. So first right, here, card is here yours. Here I go. Oh, Whew. I'm glad you're here with me. Um, Actually, I have to take it, right? I believe you do, because you drew it. Oof. All right. And uh, your card is oh. Fanatic. He actually goes to the palace. Okay. Okay. 
and he eats a clue. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Well, that's us. Wish I had a weapon. <laughs> well. I actually match him. I can, uh... I mean, I can tank him. Okay, I can get shriveling down if you get him off me. Uh, well, I'll definitely get him off you. Um, let me okay. let me deal with this guy. Me, okay. Maybe I'll end up getting lucky. Okay, so uh, I'm putting out Cherish Keepsake first. Okay. And then I'm pulling him over. Okay, that's two. And you know what? I'm just doing a raw Chaos Token draw. Because what have I got? Oh my Look gosh. Return one card from your discard pile to your hand. I'm bringing back prepared for the worst. And that oh, deals nice. the damage to him. Ping. Oh, nice. Hey, thanks, man. Do you want me to try to shoot him or do you want me to get clues? Get clues. Okay. I still got a dodge. I got the keepsake. I'll be all right for now. Okay. All right. It's an action to actually draw a card, right? From under me. So, I wanted to Yes. This. All right. So, I will I will draw uncage the soul hmm. for one. Play it for two. Brings out shriveling. I just have a feeling we're going to need it. <clears throat> I'm not sure why I think that. That's safe. Um, and then I will be up three. And if you have any help, that would be great. Uh, books? Uh, I think I need brains, right? I have prepared for the worst, but I'm not prepared to hand that over right now. No, I think uh, I think she's coming out to make me plus four. Okay. Okay. Not bad. You got your spells. Okay. All right. So we've got all the clues. Okay. All the clues. I'm going to flip a card. Ready? I'm ready. The fall. A woman stands atop a tall balcony, her yellow dress tattered and stained. You call out to her, but she does not respond to anything you say. Then you suddenly remember a scene from The King in Yellow in which a woman plunges herself into the streets below. Are you seeing past? Future? You must decide. Choose one. You cannot bring yourself to do what must be done. Flip this card back over, which would put more clues on it, I presume? Uh, yes. Realizing what you must do, you step forward and push her. Take two horror and deal two damage to Haster. Four damage to Haster. Flip this card back over. For the remainder of the game, it cannot be flipped over again. Mm, okay. So maybe the clues don't go back on it. Or I guess they do, right? Yeah, they do. Okay. I'm pretty sure they do. <clears throat> maybe someone in the chat can say otherwise, but... Um. Is it, like, revealed again when you flip it back over? I guess that would be the only... I think so. All right. Well, what Haster are we using, by the by? Uh, just to flip this card back over? Yeah. Oh, I see. And it can't be flipped over again. But the first thing makes it sound like you could flip it over again. So I have a feeling that clues go on it. Oh, right, because it says for the remainder of this game, it cannot. Yeah, gotcha. So which Haster are we fighting, do you know? No idea. How do we put damage on Haster? He is not out yet. So we cannot. So we can't push her off. Correct. That, that would awesome. be my interpretation of it. All right. That. Chad's wondering where Rosie is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's four clues back. I believe. 
Did we just waste time? I can't tell. Well, we still need the clues in order to advance. Right. Okay. Uh, I've done three things. Okay. So I guess I better the figure out what I'm phase. Uh, It's my turn. No, you went first. Oh, I did go first. Okay. So you're getting hit for one and two. Uh, let me think about this. I'm going to exhaust Aquina, Aquina to deal his damage back at him. Okay. And I will still take the horror on my Cherish Keepsake. Okay. Control in. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. All right. Mike, my card is the King's Edict. Reach cultists in play, move a clue from its land. Okay. So we actually have a cultist. We do. Okay. I'm okay with that. I think that's fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Your card, Mike, is... Ugh. Well, that's not good. Nope. No, it's not. All right. Well, maybe I should go first. Uh, uh... Unless you have a plan. I can try to shoot uh, the Bi uh, Biaki off you. Although he's plus one fight now, isn't he? He is plus one fight. Okay. Okay, I do have an option. So you're going first? Yeah. All right, I'm going to quick grab some water. Mono a mono. To deal a damage to that thing. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. And then Ah, uh, I don't want to take the horror. Can you punch him? Yes, I can try to punch him. It's raw. Cultist. Well, feel another token. Yeah, I fail to take a whore. I should have just taken the whore. Okay, this is what we're doing. Well, we're preparing for the worst. I suffer an attack of opportunity. Aquina is going to make him hit himself. He's going to take one whore, and I'm going to take the other whore. Okay. And Goes to the victory display. As part of the reaction. I am taking back my cherished keepsake. I am then grabbing my machete. <laughs> there it is. Okay. All right. I'm good. All right. Um, looks like you take a horror. I do. I am now at zero sanity. <laughs> Already. Uh, okay. Um, is there something you would like me to do, or should I just keep moving? Uh, what are the odds that you'll actually be able to hit this guy? Um... Not gonna lie, I'm just shooting even at him. Okay, I want you to search for clues. All right. Yeah, I'd be plus one on him. Um, okay, we have to immediately advance if I find the clues. Mm -hmm. You okay with that? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um. I'm going to. Yeah. Go Unless ahead. they're. 
Uh, no, the token bag isn't very good. I'm like, if there's some way we could evade him. But you're only two up. I am only two up. Though I do have Streetwise, my friend. Oh, yeah. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. You ready for this? Okay. I'm going to take him. I will evade him. At plus three, seven, I'm up five. Wow, okay. The tablet is not there. Not there. So minus two. So he is exhausted. Okay. That was my second thing, right? Yes. All right. Then... Then I think I'm going to just move away, if that's all right. Oh, wait a sec. This chair's keepsake is actually in play, isn't it? After you kill somebody? Yeah. Paying its cost. Yep. Cost okay. is zero. That's awesome. All right, so do I move away from you, or... Or hang with you? Hmm. In which case, I'm just gonna throw. Sorry. I think I'm moving. Uh, I'm moving away from you. I'm. Uh, I'm throwing that horror back on. The keepsake. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I've left you, and I'm done. All okay. right. Okay. Monster phase. There are none. Uh, he wakes up and engages me. Yep. Control N. It's an interesting draw. Okay, I got all these sneak attacks. All right. Ooh. Ready for bad things? All right, let's do it. Is what is you? this again? Okay. 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 I feel like that's a good draw. All right. You, however, have the yellow sign, sir. You must test will four. I wish I were with you. No. <laughs> and Mike says no to that. Wait a second. Post. Wait a second. No. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I just okay. remembered what else is in this encounter deck. <laughs> I can hear the, the sigh of relief from our... <laughs> our fans that have played this scenario before. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, doing this raw. Okay. That is minus three if it's revealed during an attack or evasion. Okay, never mind. An action, so it's not. Okay, so you'll search for a madness. And I take two horror. Yeah. Uh, really? That one? Oh, that's a madness, too. Okay, check the campaign log. We have... Right. We have more conviction than doubt, right? We do, by one. Okay. More conviction than doubt, so we test... Willpower two. Awesome. Okay. Draw another token. Cultist is reveal again. Minus one. I succeeded! Oh my goodness. That could have been bad, huh? That could have been very bad. Okay, it's our turn. Now, Mike, I can just draw into the flame the depths right now. Do you mind if I get set up first? Nope. Okay. I am going to go... Whoops. Took that off. One, two, three for Machete. Yes, he's going to attack me. I'm going to dodge it. Nice. Now I feel like I have uh, I have some room to maneuver, so I will slice him up. That doesn't exist. Right. That hey. Exists. Hello. That exists. 
Oh boy, which one is it going to be? Dodge is a very nice card, but so is Mono a Mono. Dodge might be better. Yeah, okay. I will do that. All right. And I have one more action. You do. I'm going to do it again. Okay. And he's dead. He's in the victory display. He is. And I take a horror. And uh, pull your keepsake back. Oh, yeah. Keepsake is back in play. Okay. And you take a horror. Yeah. I put it on the... Oh, that's direct, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now, how do you want to work this, son? Whew! Just go for it. Just do it. This As is in drawn to the flame. Um, well, I don't know. If we flip it over, what's going to happen? Is Haster going to not be around so we can't do the thing? Well, this would advance the act. Oh, good point. Or should I set myself up a little bit right now? I think we need to proceed. That's just my... Proceed. That's my gut. I think we need to advance. All right, man. If you say so. <laughs> but it is your... <laughs> now, do we do it the hard way? Or the easy way? All right. Hard I know what way. I got to do. The hard way to me is right of seeking. Is that the hard way to you? Yeah. Okay. Although that is the... There is one more location where it's good to draw from the flame. Draw the flame. Yeah, the black planes. We'll get there. Could also just run up and kill that fanatic. That's another way to advance. Wait, do you no, have... I was thinking about that. Do I have what? You have four clues. We should have advanced. Oh, we should have advanced. For some reason, I thought it was six. All right, so let's advance. Let's say I just got it. Go ahead and read the story. A shadow creeps along the wall beside you, and your heart leaps into your throat. You turn, and a figure flits away just out of sight. Either your mind is playing tricks on you, or someone else is in the theater. You follow the direction of the shadow, rounding a nearby corner. At the far end of the hall, he stands awaiting you, the man who wears the pallid mask, the stranger whose steps you have hunted for so many weeks. You remember that you have been here before. The theater dissolves around you. The bright glare of two suns pierce into your eyes from above. Do you remember now, he asks. He turns and vanishes into the ether, as if taunting you to follow. Spawn the set-aside man in the pallid mask at the palace of the king. And he remains aloof to us, eh? Okay, so it actually did not matter that we're a turn behind from this. Nope, okay. it did not. Alright, then I gotta remember how to reveal the next act. Uh. Oh. That was not it. Nope. But there it is. Uh, nope, we get version 1, not version 3. Where did, why did that happen? Interesting, because there it is. Alright. There we are. Go ahead. Search for the stranger. It's time to finally confront the stranger and learn the truth about his identity once and for all. Each investigator cannot discover clues. The man in the pallet mask cannot be defeated. While the lead investigator is at the man in the pallet mask location, he or she may spend all his turn to advance. Okay. Now, taking control of the fanatic's clues is not discovering them, correct? True. Why? Because it says we can't discover clues. Um. Oh, weird. I don't know. Well, as soon as you enter that location, we advance. Well. No, because I have to spend my whole turn to do it. Right. Um. And I already went. Hey. That's you already went. I have done. 
nothing yet. Um, so do I try to advance as fast as possible? I can go in there and shrivel the fanatic. That would be my, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea, because it's going to take you a whole extra turn if we don't do it now. One. Okay, that's one. Then I will shrivel at six to three. Seven to three. Oh, nope, not back. that one. Elder sign, okay. Um, plus three, I may choose an event beneath this card and draw it. You know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to draw... Uh, I'll draw the elusive into my hand. Okay. Should I shuffle? Um, take that card for, and throw it back in the deck and shuffle it up. Yeah. Okay. Shuffle it one more time. All right. Okay. So I've done two things. I have killed a fanatic. What do we think about his clues? They go away or do I take them? Uh, you take the clues. That's what I thought. He's gone. Clues are mine. I've done two things, yeah? And then... Then I will... Emergency quiche. Nice. And I am done. Okay, it's the monster f phase. There are no monsters, right? Correct. Um, upkeep. Roll in. Dario El Amin. I didn't know I had him. Oh. <laughs> Me neither. But you do. But there he is. Interesting. I think yeah, you had a rich deck. I do. You... I, it makes money if a hot streak comes out, right? But it didn't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Six there. We got one more before the agenda flips, dude. All right, so this card is mine then, or is it yours? Why is that? No. I've been taking the first one each time. Okay, let's just do that. Okay. Um, I'm double clicking on it, and nothing's happening. Why maybe, is that? Maybe save the table state. Okay. And then try Control E. Okay, dissonant voices. That's the best possible what card a great for you. Thing. You of course get this. It spawns at the depths of Dimby. It's really big. <laughs> wow. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's ugly. Well, I say I go first and just do it. Go nuts. Mike, I'm going to advance the act. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the image for this, but I believe it's you looking at the inside of the mask. It is. It is. I have just revealed an asset called the Pallid Mask Chasing You've Tales. You've been this stranger the whole time. Item Relic. Revelation put the pallet mask into play under the lead investigator's control. I think that actually was me, right? That's you. Okay. There it is. It's a really little card. Remove the man in the pallet mask from the game. Okay. And we get Haster, Lord of Carcosa, at the Palace of okay. the King. The pallid mask cannot leave play. You get minus two sanity. Hey, you know, that's what it is. All right, the Tattered King goes where? I'm sorry. Uh, We don't want Tattered King. We want Lord okay. of Carcosa. The pallid mask says, spawn the set aside Haster the Tattered King at the Palace of the King. What? 
Mine says Lord of Carcosa. Uh-oh. Mine says Palace of the King. Do I have to run and grab my physical copy? Well, this was the one behind. I'll flip the card. Behind Act Stranger V1. Okay. I, will doing, be, right? I will be right back, because we do not want to mess this up. You at home cannot actually see this, can you? Because Mike does not have the image of it. Um, but yeah, mine says the Tattered King. So these hamsters are pretty, pretty ballin'. I have an answer. Okay. The Tattered King. Okay. So he's actually engaged with me, yeah? Oh, wow. That's, uh, I have not seen this one before. I got the really bad one last time. This one seems pretty bad. 16 hit points. I'm out of actions. If hamsters attack deals you horror in excess of your sanity you take it damage as well while he's being attacked or evaded by an investigator with no remaining sanity treat each yeah yeah wow that's um, not so great well the one i had last time was the king in yellow yeah he's not great no because he attacks you from wherever you are um interesting we could actually just flat out hit this guy yeah, it seems like it. Uh, the other version... However, one, we're yeah. going to get his thing where all the good tokens are auto-fails. Yes, we are. So, flat out hitting him is tough. And you've got like a giant monster to get through. Uh, and yep. I'm guessing... And I'm chronophobia. Guessing want, I'm guessing we want to flip these locations, no? Uh, well, they do right. things like 4 damage to Haster and stuff like that. Right. So let's... Here's uh, Act 3, my friend. Go ahead. The King in Tatters. I heard the King in Yellow whispering to my soul. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. If there are no clues on your location, remove each investigator's clues from the game, flip your location over, and resolve the text on the other side. Okay. Um... Well, now I'm thinking we didn't have to put clues on Dark Spires. Well, now we can flip it again, right? Yeah, just remove the clues from Dark Spires, because we already got them. But then it'll flip again. Nope. It had, and it had said that it can't. No, no, Um, I, I don't think we had we were supposed to put the clues back on. You don't think? All right. Let me have a look at uh, right. one of these other ones. Yeah. There we go. Um, it'll actually say put the clues back on. That's why I got screwed up. Okay. So it's totally fine. All right. All right. I'm going to get hit really hard. But it's your turn. Okay. Well. I am flipping over this location. Yeah? Yep. You can do that? Yep. As the free action. Okay. Back to the fall. 
You're going to push her? I'm going to take two horror. And deal four damage to Haster. There goes my keepsake. He's a quarter dead. Uh, and now the creature out of Denby attacks me. Okay, for one and one. So I will exhaust Aquina. I will, Roland will take the horror, and she will die. <laughs> you said Roland. Oh, yeah, William. William! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the part of Roland. He is an actor, after all. Yep. Okay. I will move down one for my second action. Okay. He is massive, so he's with you. Yep. Uh, flip over this location. And it can no longer be flipped. Okay. So I will now toss an unexpected courage and attack him. Okay. Two damage. Oh, you just need one more. I will take a horror because of chronophobia. Yep. And we are done, right? Yeah, this isn't going well for me. Okay. Uh, monster phase. You are hit for one and one. Dodge. Okay. I am hit for four. Now, that actually makes me insane because I have minus two sanity. Okay. So as of now, you do not get your specials. How awesome. Yeah, so it makes it all the... And the hard. agenda's about to advance. Cool. Anyway, ready? Control N. Control N. Backstab. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, you ready to flip this card? Ready to read a story? Turning a corner, you nearly bump into a nurse with light brown hair and sharp features. You tell her about the violent patients and the strange things you've seen, but she doesn't listen. When you inquire about Daniel, she informs you that he is a friend of the king and that he resides in the palace. We must decide. Any investigator can test four will to snap out of it. If successful, we advance. But if we fail, we have to choose an option we have yet to choose. Mm -hmm. I see. So we might as well try these things first. Um... I am happy to. Yep, you should try be... a will test. Okay, do go for it. So I am. Uh, I think we can agree tied with it. Yeah. So let's go up two. Uh, okay. Oh. Wow! Nice. Okay. Okay. So just like that, we advance. Just like that, we advance to two. Madness drowns. I thought two of the king in yellow wrapped in the fantastic colors of his tattered mantle and that bitter cry of Casilda. Not upon us, O king, not upon us. Esther gets plus one fight and can't be defeated. If there is at least five damage on Hast ten damage on Haster advance. Yep, no problem there. Seems pretty uncool. Yeah. All right. Um, bad cards. For me, just control E. Yeah. A fanatic. The most clues right now is down here. He'll eat one of those clues. And your card is. Where's the person you're at? I don't see it. Okay. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Okay. I'm good. You're good? That wasn't right, unfortunate I, at all. Can I go first? Yeah, all right. Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. I think it might be time to elusive. Oh. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> yeah, I go nuts. <laughs> all right. Now, he does... Is it fast? Yes, it, it is. is. All right, now... Sadly, I can't go down to where the fanatic is. But that's okay. Well, Haster hunts. That's the only reason. Oh, he hunts. Oh, I see. So I'm going to head over to the dim streets. 
He hunts the person with the most remaining sanity. Um, we're both technically we, considered yeah, we zero. We can both decide. Yeah, we can both decide who that is, right? Yeah. All right, so I'll go there. Um, interesting. Oh. What? After you discover the last remaining clue on dim streets, lose one action. Well, if it's your last action. Right. So I'm going to write a seeking it. So I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull Drawn to the Flame down for desperate times. Then I'm going to write a Seeking at 6 to 2. Ooh, a Skull. Minus 4. Got it. Nice. Okay, so... Um, you flip it. Now, when we do this, remove all my clues from the game. That's five. Got it. And flip this card. So you know what? We, right. pro we probably shouldn't have flipped location ever in that first act. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. You pass under an archway of ebony stone linking two spires. The inscription on the archway is written in a language you've never seen before, but somehow you are able to understand it. When you read the inscription aloud, the portal of stone shimmers, and you see a glimpse into an alternate vision of the city of Carcosa. It's vibrant, mesmerizing. No place you've ever seen before. Vision dissolves shortly after, and you find yourself back in the ruined streets. Test will one for each point you succeed by. Each investigator heals a horror. Nice. Wow. Okay. Um, wow. Sadly, I got to play it straight. So I'm up three. <gasps> okay. What? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it wasn't okay. meant to be. Yeah. Uh, say one or two. Uh, I will just flip a coin. It is the first one. Okay. Now it there gets I am. Flipped back and becomes part of the random collection. This was removed from the game. Oh, does it? Yep. Oh. And replaced with another dim street. Hey, okie doke. All right. Well, oops. That's me. Are you coming to save me? Um, I have a thing on me at the moment. Oh, right. So a pretty I'm... large thing, a substantial thing. Yeah, I'm going to attack it. Okay. That's not in the bag. That, that is. Sadly. Minus three. Oh, really? You'll lose an action. Um, what was I? Yeah, so I lost an action. So. That sucks. Uh, it absolutely does. Uh, well, do it again. Kind of a waste of a vicious blow, but it had to die. Not even a victory display. I know. All right. I get another horror. Yep. Okay, it is the monster phase. Where would we like Haster to go? How are we killing him? Well, you know what? You might as well send him to me because I feel like I'm barely hanging on. And you at least have some options. Okay. Now, you can't... Uh, so hit you for one as well, since it's in excess. Right. It's easy to evade, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> kind. Um, you know what? Right. Do your thing. Um, I, I very thing. likely, well, I, I very likely won't be around much longer. So um, maybe try to flip some cards. Yeah. Um, 
All right, control in. Control in. That's interesting. Huh. Huh. All right. My bad thing is rotting remains. I'm going to play it straight. All right. Not bad at all for you. Not bad. And your card is? I didn't see it. Really? OK. You're getting hosed. <laughs> All right, so I don't have any uh, right of seeking left, so I got to go like old school. So you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to run down to the bleak plains. Um, what about Palace of the King? Can't flip it until he has ten damage. Ooh. Okay. So I'll get there. I'm going to go down there for two. And you know it. That's happening. I draw. Okay. That's, that's all right. Okay. I test with a squid. Minus three. Okay. I just lose. I'll take, what, three horror? Two horror. Two horror, yeah. Okay, that's all right. Then I discover those clues. They are immediately oh. spent to flip. I should have put my thing out. Yes, Stars of Aldebaran. Go ahead and read it. Which means Hasters. There we go. <laughs> Forgot I could put my bear out again. Go ahead and read Stars of Aldebaran, Mike. Uh, I know you do it because I can't see the whole text. Oh, okay then. <laughs> a sudden rift in the clouds above allows you to see the sky for the first time since arriving in this strange place. The sky is orange tinted and void of darkness, but black stars shine above you. If the workings of earthly science mean anything in this world, perhaps you can create a map of the stars above to find your way home. You find a long stick and begin to draw on the sand. Each investigator heals three horror. Nice. I am still insane. Me too. Okay. All right. Deal four damage to an enemy in play other than Haster. Sadly, that's the fanatic. Well, you get his clues. I don't think I do. I didn't defeat him. I think you did. Pretty sure that's not me doing that. It's fine. <laughs> Take the clue. It doesn't matter. Um, then remove this card from the game and replace it with another set aside copy of Bleak Plains and add clues to that. Okay, let me find some more Bleak Plains. There should just be one copy. There it is. Got two clues on it. Okay. That's me. Awesome. Okay. Looks like I'm just balls to the walls fighting this thing. Really? Yep. And you're going to get out of here while I keep him busy. Get out of here? What well, does that mean? Well, you're going to start like flipping locations and trying to advance while I keep this guy busy. Oh, God. All right. Whew. Yeah, that, that failed. What am I, anyways? I'm a, four, I'm a five. Oof, I'm only a five. Okay. He's a... Second one. Okay. He's a Number minus two. one, which is an autofail. <laughs> and that's also an autofail. Wow. He then hits me for four. Dude. And another direct damage. Yeah. Run, dude. Run. And I take another horror from Chronophobia. Okay. This is looking grim. Would you agree? Oh, 
we knew it was going to happen. It's the last adventure. We're not exactly a power team. No. All right, control N. Ooh. <laughs> I got the Elder Sign amulet. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. In this, okay. That's pretty awesome. All right, my card is the final act. If you have no remaining sanity, place Doom on the two Doom on the current agenda, and it surges. So I will be placing Doom. Would you agree? Oh yeah. I just barely have no remaining sanity. That's a bummer. All right. That surges into. Oh, I won't look. Okay. Um, I am going to look away and show the group what you have. Okay. Give it a few seconds for that to sink in, and then back to my hand. All right. What's my card? Test to will three for this dismal curse. It's actually plus will five now. Now, if you fail this, I believe you're dead. No, no, you're not. You're fine. Well, I will be dead when he attacks me again. Shoot. That is really unfortunate because I did not want to have to use this card now. But I'm testing will coming. It. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have to. Yeah, there's worse. All right, so, so I really don't have a way to get all these clues. Um, well, you got lockpicks, you got... Yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is buy some lockpicks. My hands are full. And I will exhaust the lock picks. I'm at six to four. That's plus two, eh? Let's let's make that plus five. Okay. Whew! Good one. Glad I did that. And for my next act, I will investigate. There's really no point in investigating, is there? Yeah, there is. Because you'll get to flip this over. Yeah, but I'll never get it. Without my lockpicks. Oh, I see. He'll only be one up. Yeah. I'll be minus two. Without lockpicks. Ah, uh, well, with streetwise, you could be up one. But that's still... Yeah, it's not... Well, let's try to flip this agenda, shall we? All right, so I am up five to four, six to four, seven to four. All right. Minus three. Wow. Okay. Okay, so I'll get rid of that clue and the one on me. And I'll flip this card. Bleak Desolation. This world is but a remnant of what it once was. The grand majesty of Carcosa spoken of in the King in Yellow is lost in this expanse of endless desolation. Dead, twisted trees, starving animals, barren fields greet you everywhere you turn. You begin to look for evidence of what might have caused such devastation. Across the lake, you see dark, twisted structures similar to those in Carcosa. At least one appears as large and as grand as Haster's domain. You wonder if perhaps some kind of conflict took place between the two cities. You have four damage to Haster. Yay! Okay. Flip this card back over. For the remainder of the game, it cannot be flipped over again. Okay. Awesome. So that's me done. All right. I am pitching Leather Coat and taking a swing. What was I? I was a 5-6 to his 3. That's 2 damage. It. Okay couple things happen here. First, we advance the agenda. Yes, and we can now do that. And we can now go to the Palace of the King. Okay. Ready. Flip the card. Here we go. Go ahead. The final guest. 
is the name of this agenda. Uh, if it isn't our final guest, the doorman announces, Miss Divine, your presence here has been long awaited. The creature slithers up the side of the palace. You swear you've seen the symbol on her amulet before. Wait, that can't be right. Well, now the real party can begin, it roars. Spawn the set-aside beast of Aldebaran at the palace of the king. This can't be right. <laughs> oh, that's why it's not easy to do that. One. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Miss Divine, what's happened to you? Okay. Ready for the final agenda? Okay. Madness dies. Go ahead, Mike. I cannot forget Carcosa, where black stars hang in the heavens, where the shadows of men's thoughts lengthen in the afternoon, when the twin suns sink into the lake of Hali, and my mind will bear forever the memory of the pallid mask. Hastur gets plus two fight, and he cannot be defeated unless you know the secret. Hmm. I think I know where the secret is. I have a horrible feeling I do too. <laughs> um... um. Cool. Okay. All right. You have two more actions, however. Sure do. Oh, he Any hunts, he doesn't he? The... He does. Any way you can get the hell out of there? Uh, by walking. Um, this isn't good. Well, you can take a hit from him and uh, get rid of chronophobia. And then he's just going to be sitting there. We can't have him in the Palace of the King. I don't think we want that. Uh, I'm going to start... something there I can't deal with. Yep, I'm just going to... You might just have to go there and suffer a couple of attacks. Uh, that physical damage will take me out. Oh my god, it will. There and might that's be other... Not evadable, is it? Well... There has to be a way to move. grab three clues. Well, I can go down to the shores of Hali. No, no, it's got to be the three from that location. Right, but I mean, I can flip this card. Remember that one that did four damage to a monster that wasn't Haster? I mean, there yeah. might be more like that. It's gone, dude. It's gone. And I'm out of money. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. I think our plan needs to be not kill this thing, because it can't happen. As soon as I move there, Haster comes with me. Because he hunts. Unless you evade him. Mm. You're up plus, you're plus one on evading him. I am. I if, you, if you have a way. Um. But God, if you could get one hit on the beast... Uh, I can maybe shrivel him twice. If we do that, Haster ends up in the Palace of the King. Not if he's evaded. It takes a while for him to get there. I don't think I can make it. Because uh, even when evading, all the special tokens are auto-fails. And the only way I could do it... No, I couldn't do it, because I need those minus ones. I actually cannot evade him. Well, you want to drag him back up to the Dark Spires? Sure do. <laughs> I will take another damage. And then I will swing at him. That's an auto-fail. That's just mean that they do the Elder Sign as well. I know. So I take another direct horror from Chronophobia. Oof. Okay. And it is the monster's turn. Uh, so another damage. I have 22 horror. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, Heroic Logic. Yep, we, we've Arkhamed again. We're here. All right. 
Um, I had a rough start. (laughs) And middle. Oh, no. Uh Oh. Okay, whatever. Just don't take damage. All right. Oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, I just can't. If I just didn't have to move, Mike. I could maybe kill him. Kill? Yeah. I would settle for evade and get rid of the clues. I can't evade him. He's five. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Where's your hot streak? Right. Well, maybe. Maybe get a clue. Well, let's uh, draw our evil cards. Oh, yeah. Mine is... Uh, okay. And, of course, it surges into... Oh, I won't touch that. Okay. I will, again, let the, our viewers see it without me looking at it. There's another creature out of Denby. Really? I'm glad I moved. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, our turn. I'm no longer okay. helping you. <laughs> Mike, I need to take a dollar. Okay. Which drives me crazy that I need to do that. Okay, I'll take a dollar. I'll move to the palace. Okay. I'm with the beast. And I'm going to try to evade him. Wait. Okay. Right? Got it. Yeah. Okay. So I am at four. I'm at minus one. So I'll spend my money to be at plus two. Okay. That's not great. That's not great at all. So I'll make it plus four. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lost soul. Uh, Test will. All right. Will two. Oh, wow. Plus two. We are on the right end of that. I'm at plus two and. I don't want to take the damage, so I'll be at plus four. Wow. Okay. You're lucking out on those things. All right, and then he is sleepy. And Hurry, so please. I'm going to use lockpicks. Wait, don't you have too many actions? Nope, I moved, evaded, and now I'm... You got a dollar. Oh, I got a dollar. Oh. you have it. Okay. Okay. Um, You're up. I am spending two actions and discarding chronophobia. Like that matters. <laughs> He's going to attack me and I'm going to devil's luck it. Nice. And then I will just take a swipe with my last action. Yeah, that failed. Okay. Monster is nothing other than he readies. Okay. Oh, Oh, that thing's going to attack you too. Only when I flip it, right? Yeah, only when you flip it. Okay. Uh, Control N. Oh, yeah, I take my uh, four horror and a damage. Did you control N? I did. Let me try again. Mm, Nope, you better try again. There we go. Think on your feet. Okay. 
Ready for bad things? <laughs> I'm one draw away from death. Um, Send it to madness. If I have at least three horror, I lose an action. Um, that was so awful. How does that... Yeah, it was, actually. Yeah. Because I was going to kill the beast. So I'll just do that. All right. And take a horror. What am I going to do? Go crazy? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. So it still surges because it still surges. Of course it into does. Into rotting remains. I'm only wow. plus one. You keep getting that one. Nice. <laughs> and you keep okay. succeeding against it. All right. Uh... You're a fanatic. Most clues are down here. Oh, lovely. How am I still alive? Those of you who played this, how am I still alive? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I need everything to go right. So you ready? Yep. Well, I can't do anything anyway. I have no money. Oh. oh why did I come here? All right. There's got to be a way to do this. I can't think of anything. Dude, I wonder if the smart thing would have been to play Think on Your Feet when this you put the fanatic into the palace. Anyway, I don't know. Without money, it is very hard. Mm. Alright, so you know what I'm doing? I'm going to... Why did I go up there just to evade him? Why did I do that? Oh, because I thought I could kill him in three. Yeah, I guess start killing. All right, or so try. I will. I will shrivel. I'll get plus two, so I am at six to three. Yeah, that's too bad. Back. What? I was looking at backstab. Too bad it's not fast. And too bad it costs three dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's the real problem. All right. Miss. All right. Okay. That changes some things. Dude, I don't know what to do. Play it out. Um, yep. <laughs> That's all we can do. Yep, yep. All right. I'm going to fight him again. All right. Um, I'm going to just punch him, okay? Okay. And I will automatically fail the test just to get that out of my hand. Oh. And then... Oh, man. I don't know how to deal with this guy. Um... Yes, heroic logic. That's what happens when you have chronophobia for the better part of the for campaign. For the better part of the game. Of the game, and uh, lovely Haster here, who can hit you with four will or four damage uh, every turn. All right, I'm going to do something that I should have done first, maybe. Oh God, do I try to evade him? <laughs> Is it possible? I have to, right? Is it possible? I don't know. I'm down one right now. Okay, so it's possible. I can make it even. I don't know, man. I'm I'm just gonna try to. Okay. I'll try to evade. Minus one. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Did we both go, or did I go first? Uh, you went first. All right. I do believe. Yes. All right, I'm going to swing at him a couple times. That's an autofail. That is a miss. And then I'm going to pitch a guard dog. Um, astute players will notice that I can't actually play the guard dog because I will die very soon. Um, I'll actually die this turn if I, if I play him outright. 
So he is at oh, he's at plus one fight, isn't he? Plus two fight. Plus two fight. So he's at a five. Okay, so I'm only up one. Yep, that's um. Uh, yeah. Okay. Enemy face. Yep, I am hit for two and one. Uh, this is your last turn of me being alive. This is the last turn of me being alive. All right. Well, let's. Uh, it's been a good run. Let's let's control in. Let's control in and do this. Well, that's nice. Okay, my card is really. Um. All right. I'm even. Look at that. <laughs> what a weird your game. card is. Oh, uh, how am I alive? <laughs> And how is it that only now you're frozen in fear? I know. Uh... Alright. Oh, I take another horror because I'm a hypochondriac. Alright. Well, Mike, I just don't know what to do. Well, the only option I have, really, is to evade and get out. I don't like it, but I got to do it. Okay. All right. So I am at minus one. Can't even do my streetwise. Oh, okay. Minus one. Zero. Plus one. Plus two. You ready? Yep. Oh my gosh, it's evaded. Okay. Is there any hope of you getting those clues? All three of them? Yeah, uh, probably not, eh? No. Right, there's three of them there, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I was thinking of leaving and trying to get clues other way. I just don't know what I can do about that guy. You know? So what yeah. I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is use some lock picks. I'm at six to three, six to two. All right. I'm up four. That's fine. Not in That's the bag. There. there you okay. go. Okay. So I'll grab that clue. And then I have to. Yeah. I have to duck out. I haven't been to the ruins yet. There. Okay. Mm, that one you take a damage when you discover the last clue. I can't do that. Okay. All right. I'm going to pitch Aquina to try to evade. I actually have a hope. It has to be a two. That is not a minus two. It's a minus four. So I failed. That cost me two actions. So uh, I will just punch him and fail because I can't actually succeed against him anymore. My God. Uh, I will test Frozen in Fear. Nope, no tablets in the bag. And that's still there. And then... That's it. 34 sanity and 8 damage. So you're gone, eh? York is gone. Okay. Um, the beast will ready. Um... <laughs> Aster is yep, up there. Um, you left me alone, Mike. I tried to hang on as best, as long as I could, All dude. Right. Ready for next round. I think you still have to say ready yeah. for next round. Yeah. Oh, another shriveling. How helpful. Okay. So, my bad card is... 
each call to send play, move a clue. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to use lock picks. I am up four. Cultist, oh, dude, again. Okay. Wow. Got that clue. Then for my last one, I'm going to just normal investigate. I am even, so I'll spend two. I'm up three. Okay. Get rid of all clues. Flip the dim streets. You find yourself easily lost within the city's narrows, twisting streets. Routes that should lead back to familiar places lead instead to new parts of the city, and retracing your steps is impossible. Perhaps objects here do not exist in three dimensions like they do on Earth? Conventional maps cannot possibly begin to depict the complexity of Arcosa's design. You explore the street carefully and begin to puzzle out a shocking map of the city. Test book three for each point you fail by. Take a horror. Deal one damage to Haster regardless of whether you succeed or fail. Well, that's nice. All right. Uh, I've just uh, minus one. You ready? Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Not that it really matters. After this test, flip this card over, and it can't be flipped again. <laughs> so, Mike, this doesn't change the fundamental problem of the universe that I have. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Here comes Haster. All right, control N. It's my weakness. All right, I have the same thing, so I will discard. I have more than five in my deck, so it will be discarded. All right, that could have been worse, I suppose. All right, my card is. Really? Mm -hmm. No assets or events. Well. Whatever. Well. Money, money, money. <laughs> And then Haster gets into the palace, right? Yes, he does. What is money, money, money going to do for me? Um, help Nothing. You, help you evade somebody? Oh, but I mean... Haster. I think it's over. You know? Yeah, probably is. Like I, I, I don't play it out. It's, uh, yeah, I will. It's course, almost done. I'm I think I'm just trying to think of the best thing to do. Um. Okay, so I will. I will go. Money, money, money. I think. One. Two, three. Yeah. Okay. Monster phase. Aster goes to his house. Control N. Right of seeking. Okay. Not. God, that actually could save the game. You have one turn. So here comes Aster. Like we have eight need to. Oh, you gotta draw your card first. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So there he is. I will evade him. Wait, wait, wait. Can you get the clues off of the Palace of the King in one turn? I'll be hit and killed by the Beast of Aldebaran before I can. Okay, never mind then. I know, right? It would have yeah. been cool. 
All right, so I'm going to try to get away from the beast of Holly. Although, why does that matter? You know? Ugh. Okay. This is hard, man. All right, so fighting is not going to happen. So I'm going to I'm going to actually shrivel the beast of Holly. Okay. It's over, Mike. Yep. Uh, all right. I know it is. Yeah, it didn't work. It was over a little while ago. All right. I will evade him. Okay, so he's definitely evaded. Uh, how much do you succeed by? Two. Uh, you take one horror. Awesome. Okay. Then... I should just let Haster kill me, right? Then I'm going to draw Sneak Attack into my hand. Okay. Monster phase. Haster moves to me. Hits me for four. Four and one. Oh, here's and a question for you. you are now immediately killed. Because I have minus two sanity. Yeah, and possession. Yep, yep. Well, I wanted to die to Haster and some <laughs> chump. Well, why don't you read us the end, Mike? Okay, well, let's first flip over the Palace of the King, see if that even would have gotten us anything. Because now I'm curious. We know the secret. Okay, so uh, still wouldn't really have helped. Okay, so we have died. Well, it helped in that that's the only way to kill Haster. Yeah. All right, if no resolution was reached and we have more or equal conviction than doubt, which we do, we go to resolution four. When you awaken, you are sitting in the, whoa, the choir gothique of Mont Saint Michel's Abbey. No rain pelts the glass of the windows above and you hear no thunder, nor the screeching of winged horrors overhead. Somehow you have escaped the island's certain doom. You creep to the door of the abbey and open it with trepidation. A dazzling light sears your eyes, and you lift your hand to block the glare of two suns. You stand overlooking the Lake of Halley. Black stars hang in the heavens above. Beyond, over leagues of tossing cloud waves, the towers of Carcosa rise behind the shattered moon. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> in your campaign log, record that the realm of Carcosa merged with our own and Haster rules over them both. Each investigator is driven insane, and we lose the campaign. Well, I don't think we can say we're surprised by that. <laughs> no, not at all. Although I will say that for a number of our, of our scenarios with these two, things did fire for us. Um, you never got your engine going, which is too bad. No, I, had I got it going too late. Like, yeah. like not having that weapon yeah. was... Brutal. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that basically says the same thing. We were uh, not to win it. Yeah. Well, well, hey, it is such a fun game, though. Yeah, that's a neat adventure. It is hard. I, th In my opinion, it's the hardest um, campaign scenario released to date. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so, or maybe it's just the one I've been least equipped to do. Although in, our, in the last campaign I played, this one was just as brutal. Yeah. But yeah, what do you think of it? I, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. I really didn't need to see the Beast of Aldebaran show up. Oh, yeah. No, there's no way out of that. No matter when. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't that think was... you can... You can't even kill Miss Divine, so she appears no matter what. Yeah. That was pretty awful. And unfortunate. But man, yeah, that's fine. I've, you know, it's been so long since we've done Arkham here that 
I've played it live plenty, but uh, dude, this is a great campaign. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I couldn't trigger, really I couldn't flip locations. And I couldn't play events. <laughs> yeah. That, that doesn't help. Uh, you know, this this one needs needs a dedicated seeker and it needs a killer. Yeah, absolutely. I think. I think next time I'll bring a dedicated seeker. You like playing seekers. You like the yellow. I do like the yellow. It's been a while since I played one. Yeah. I like the I like the red and the green. Last one I played was Akachi. She did very well. It's a very toolboxy deck. I love Akachi. I think she's fun. She's great. Jeez, well, man. All right. Well, it was next. good to get back into the game, hey? So, so next week I feel like we need to head to uh, the Pelennor Fields. Siege of Gondor. The... Siege of Gondor, okay. So back yeah, in our Lord of just... the Rings world. We'll continue that We've campaign. We've just gotten back from the Paths of the Dead. Yes. We, we won it. We got the army. And we've still got a couple guests we're trying to get lined up. And yep. we'll see where everything falls. Yeah, and if, you, if, you want, if you're listening and you want to you be a guest... Please, let, let one of us know on Discord. You may be teamed up with Safina and Yorick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, there, there's always a cost, right? So. Yep. Uh, so, yes, both of us are on the Discord channel. Uh, I am Wandering Took, again, and you're also a big FOMO on that channel. Is that correct? Yep. Yep, everywhere. Excellent. Well, thank you all for watching, listening. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is a... I, I didn't know what your expectations were. Um, it certainly ended the way I expected, um, but I hope you had. I never expected to survive. So this is, this is <laughs> uh, fine. If anything, that's a story right there. The thirty-four sanity. Yeah, that was awesome, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for the game, man. Thank you. Thank you. And have a good night, everybody. Good night, all. <laughs>